case. Now, to a standoff over autopsy results, the family of the deceased grade 8 pupil at Joy Gardens Primary School in Omoja Estate has rejected the autopsy results, citing foul play. Now, the family of the late Wesley Njiru says the report pointing to internal bleeding, fractured ribs and bones is not in tandem with the preliminary investigations, which showed no fracture or blood at the scene. Well, this as four suspects, among them two directors of the school, await tomorrow's court's decision on whether they will be released on bail. Emily Chabet reports on a family's quest to find justice for their kin. After a four-hour wait at the Mama Lucy Hospital, the family of the deceased grade 8 pupil at the Joy Gardens Primary School in Umoja Estate were briefed on the outcome of the autopsy. According to the report, Wesley Njiru died due to internal bleeding and fractured bones, a report that has since been disputed by the family. There were injuries, that the, the, the bones bro uh, were broken, the, the pelvic girdle was broken, the front part of uh, the bosom had broken images, the rib cage was broken, the scapula heading to the shoulder bone were broken, the spinal cord had some injuries, there was blood all over and they have concluded unanimously that the, the cause of death is a fall from a height that was high. They come over, they tell us that um, according to the way they have found is that uh, it was consistent with a fall from a higher ground. When the DCI came over, they were able to inspect the whole place at Joy Garden where my son was schooling. And they saw very well that it was not consistent. The DCI themselves, they, they, they were able to tell that it was not consistent. The exercise was led by Dr. Charles Muturi, a government pathologist based at Mama Lucy Hospital, overseen by Professor Emily Rugena, representing the school, and Dr. Ndiangui, who was present on behalf of the family. The family says some things are not adding up, based on how they found their son on that fateful day. Post-mortem, they're saying that there was blood on him, on his clothes. But for me, like I saw him when he was laying there on the floor, there was no single drop of blood. So that, we rule it out. We rule it out that they're saying that he committed suicide, he fell from seventh floor up to down, uh, to ground floor, I mean to mezzanine floor. That's when we rule it out. My boy had fractured in the body, there were broken, broken bones, dislocation of the bone. That's when we don't agree on it at all. And when I came over, there was absolutely no blood. There was absolutely no fracture. There was nothing that you could be able to tell apart from he had a... There was something that was yeah, swollen here, and then he had a bruster here. The family is raising questions on whether the boy was defiled before the incident, following initial reports that he had bruises in the rectum. Even the DCI told us there were some bruises at the, the, the anus, and the, the, so the pathologist told us that they have taken some samples to go and do further investigation so that we can know exactly like if the boy was molested or not. Want to... The four suspects, among them two directors of the school, will remain in custody until tomorrow when the court will rule on whether they will be released on bond or not. This is to allow the judge to look at the autopsy report before making any decision. Emily Chabet, Citizen TV.